Okay, hello everyone. Welcome to day four of my declutter series. I am filming this in a separate batch than I did the other ones. So thank you so much for the feedback. I'm glad you guys have been enjoying. Today we're gonna to be working on eye products and basically anything but pre-made palettes. So I have a feeling this one's gonna be pretty long, but I'm just going through my collection. I'm trying to really hone in and keep things I really love that inspire me. I'm just kind of refreshing my collection and making sure it's a great representation of like my style currently, what I like, what I'm into, what I maybe wanna try more of and move on some of the items that maybe I used to like and used to really love or maybe that didn't work out for me and pass those on to other people while they're still good. So if I can help it, nothing's going to be going into the trash. It will be passed on and um, someone else will get to, to love it and enjoy it. And yeah, if you want to see the other parts of this declutter, I will leave them linked down below. Definitely check them out. And other than that, let's just get into it. We're going to start with my single shadows here that are in palette. So I have like a ton of Z palettes. I bought these years ago. I've had these for probably five plus years at this point. It's been a long time. I've been someone who's collected single shadows for a very long time. A lot of these are, I guess, newer. I had at one point like hundreds of the Coastal Scents hot pots. Like <laughs> I had so many of those and now we're kind of where we are now. So I'm going to move these out of the way. We'll get started. I don't know how much I'm going to declutter these ones, but I definitely want to rearrange and just get them to a little bit of a better more organized state maybe so I have a few of these opened up and whatnot so I'm gonna get to it all right so first off here I have my uh, JD glow galaxy shadows these are freaking beautiful I love them they're the only thing in this palette they're quite large of pans so um, I'm just gonna leave these in here separate for now this palette here is what I call like my kind of greeny bluey shades I don't know more cool toned I guess colorful shadows so um I'm I feel pretty good I mean this brown I feel like doesn't really belong and maybe not this gold oh it's slither it's like a gold green I guess that does go in here okay from my angle it looks a little bit more gold than green one of those tricky guys um so for these I'm going to just see what I have um I guess I'll show you this really fast. These are all my Luxie shadows I bought recently. I'm not going to deconstruct this. I usually don't keep my shadows by brand. Um, so at, at some point I will be deconstructing this into other palettes and it'll more be sorted by color because that's what's more inspiring to me. But I am going to be doing a video where I'm like using these and pulling from here. So I don't want to have to like separate them now to go find them and use them in a video very soon. So this I'm going to also just keep together at the moment. I guess similar to that, these are all my square pans. Um, and I'm going to keep these together because they don't really go with much else. And these are all from my Violet Voss Best Life palettes, which I do have a video where I show how I depotted them if you're interested in it. But these are super beautiful shadows. Like, I'm so happy I depotted them. And I did get those little magnets. So now all of them have the little magnets instead of some of them being more circular and stuff. So it's definitely more uniform, which I'm very happy with. Kind of looking at a glance at my other palettes, I think most of them are more neutral. So I'm going to put this brown in here so these are like my main uh just like circle pan palettes and eventually what the looksy shadows will go into but i try to keep it like more pinks and purples more neutrals and more cool tones and like blues and stuff i'm going to break down this little palette here so i have a pink in here that i'm gonna be putting in obviously my pink palette i feel like this arguably would look nice it's kind of like a pinky peach and then i feel like the oranges should go in here so i'm gonna switch those over because this is kind of like neutrals yeah and oranges i feel i also have two more shadows in here so i'm gonna put them in with my other color pop so that's what these are I'm sorry if this is kind of confusing. Then I have this palette that I also want to break down. So I'm going to do that as well. I have like lots of these like neutral shades, which hopefully I can fit them all in here. I'm realizing. Oh my gosh, no. <laughs> okay, there have almost been so many disasters. I've like dug my fingernail into shades already. It's getting kind of crazy and we just started. <laughs> I don't have any more pinks and purples right now so I'm going to set this to the side. I don't have any more blues and greens so I'm going to set that to the side. I do have to fit 
these three shades into my neutral palette. Um, and I think I can do that. I think it will fit. Yeah, just barely. All right, so it all fits, luckily. I'm very happy for that. And I'm not gonna go through and like organize them at the moment, like and rearrange them, just because I've already almost had like tons of disasters and I just feel like I will be asking for it. I did have three of these little mini pans to try to put in here. And unfortunately I only have room for one. So that means I have to get rid of two. There's just not enough space. And off the bat, these two look very similar. All these mini ones are from uh, ColourPop and they're from the palettes I just depotted the actual shadows because they're just magnetic. So I'm gonna get rid of this shadow here. I also feel like these two are kind of similar. I don't know, those are kind of similar. I think I'll get rid of this one and then I can fit them in here. All right, so I'm gonna be passing on these two shadows. All right, and then last year I have my like this is my pride and joy of my collection probably. These are all my Cleona stained glass shadows. So I have obviously quite a few of them and I'm just going to put the four that I had out back in. I believe these are all of the shadows. I've been able to fit them all in this palette. I feel good about my single shadows. I mean, I really only opened up these two. I have these two to get rid of, which that would be such a pretty eyeshadow look, just those two. But anyway, I wasn't expecting to get rid of a ton. I've been super into shadows lately like this. So um, yeah, at least have them a bit more organized. All right, so next we're gonna be working on uh, this container. I don't even know what to call it. So I have like stick shadows, a bunch of like liquid eyeshadows and those types of things, more like creams and liquids, single shadows that are like actually packaged glitter type stuff and then primers. So I'm gonna get these all out so we can work through them section by section. First, we'll focus on these little eyeshadows sticks. I have a lot from CoverGirl. I have two from Laura Mercier, and these I know I wanna keep. I had these in a project pan recently. This one's Au Natural, and it's just like a nice matte one. And then this one is Moonlight, and that one is absolutely stunning. So I do wanna keep those, I know that. The CoverGirl ones are the ones I really wanna focus on potentially getting rid of some stuff. So let's see what we have here. I mean, they're very similar in consistency to the Laura Mercier, like very similar. Like that's the same. So this one I already know I can get rid of. This one is just 905. I don't know what that means. I mean, that one isn't any color, so that one can go. I mean, that one's really pretty, but I don't know if I'll ever reach for that. I'm gonna get rid of that. Again, super beautiful, but I think I'm gonna pass on it. Oh, this one's like a nice. See, that I really like because it's like nice and charcoal. I'm gonna keep that one. And then last, we have another kind of cool toned and I think I'm gonna keep that one. I got rid of most of those, but I did keep colors I normally wouldn't buy or get as easily, so I'm excited to have those. And I don't know, we'll see how much I actually end up swatching, but my goal isn't necessarily to swatch everything. Sometimes you just need to know. Okay, let's talk about primers. These are all my primers at the moment. I don't think I'm gonna get rid of any actually. So I'm working on my MAC Paint Pot and as you can tell, like I am doing so well with it. I can't wait to finish that baby up. I have the Ofra one here and I just like to have that in case I work with Ofra. The Urban Decay is pretty dang good and I feel like it's like my next primer I would use after the MAC one. Um, this is the one I use almost every day. And then I have my next glitter primer, which is like the never ending eye primer I've had forever. And then I do wanna give this Zoeva one a shot. I got this from a BoxyCharm and I wouldn't mind trying it. So I'm gonna keep that as well. I keep all of these shadows in the same like section of my uh, little drawer. And so I thought we'll just go through them. I have these Kaja Moon Crystals and I do enjoy these. I need to use them a little bit more. I mean, I guess I just got them this year but I got them from the boxy pop-up and they were $5 a piece, you guys. I'm swatching them because I wanna show you them. <laughs> the blue and green I feel like are definitely the prettiest, but I think they're really cool and I like that they're creams and yeah, those are gonna stay. As for this Urban Decay glitter 
eyeliner. It's finally time to say goodbye. As you guys know, or if you don't know, I'm on like a whole glitter journey of not using plastic uh, glitters. I have a whole video on it. I will leave it linked. I should just have it linked in every video, honestly. But I kept this because it was like my one, I, I couldn't pass it on. I couldn't give it to anyone else. I haven't used it since I've started this whole thing, so. Uh, there's no reason to keep it. I have these Touch and Soul Pretty Filter Liquid Eyeshadows. So I have one in this really pretty green color. And these add like a really nice wash. Um, I really, I do like these. I especially love this blush shade, whoa. It's so, um, I don't know, you wouldn't think it'd be so pretty, but on, on the eyes, it's so beautiful. And then the green. So I definitely wanna keep those. They like, they remind me so much of the Glossier newer paints. Then we have this Kosa liquid eyeshadow. My gosh. This thing, if I could go back in time, I wouldn't have bought it. Um, I just don't, I don't know. I'm gonna keep it for now and maybe I'll try to put it in like a summer bronze thing, but these are definitely not my favorite. They got a lot of hype and I'm not really sure if I if I believe it. All right, next here we have all my single shadows. So I have this one from Nomad and it's just, it's a really pretty color, but I'm gonna pass that on. I tend to use like depotted singles as opposed to these, but I do think I'll keep my Natasha Denona Black is Black. This came in a boxy charm. It's just like a black eyeshadow. I do think that I'm still gonna keep Anya. This is from um, our, no. What is this brand? Illamasqua, geez. I'm gonna keep on here from Illamasqua. It's just such a unique shade. Uh, I just can't get rid of it. It's still always so soft. I find the Illamasqua powders like age beautifully. This Dose of Color shadow, okay. This I got with Boxy Points. It's called Block Party. I was so excited because I had seen so much about these when they had released these eyeshadows. And so I, I definitely wanted to see what they're about, but I was not, I just wasn't that impressed. I don't know. I mean, it's not like bad. I just, I don't know. I think I can pass it on. So I'm gonna pass that on. I have this little wet and wild eyeshadow. I don't set my base like this anymore. So I'm not sure what to do with this. I think I'm still gonna keep it because sometimes it's nice to just have this and it's like a little single you can throw in your bag. But I definitely am not as concerned as I used to be about like setting down my eyeshadow base. And then I have this green eyeshadow. This I should pop out. Um, but this is Deja Vu from ColourPop and it's just like a lime green. I really do like it. I will keep this. But usually what I do is I, I carry the hot pink and the lime green whenever I travel in those little like single compacts. And then when I'm not traveling, they just go back into my single shadows. I forgot to show my Urban Decay Solstice. Do you guys remember this? Remember when Solstice was what everyone talked about? Look at how like, the pan on this is so destroyed. I just don't think I can get rid of this one yet either. I know I have like similar shades, but maybe I'll do a comparison video or something. I just can't, I can't do it quite yet. But I will say even swatching this out, I still don't think this compares to any of my Cleonas. Like it just doesn't. And everyone was like so hype over this. Oh my gosh. My hands are so freaking glittery already. Let's finish this little thing out. Let's keep it going. Oh my gosh. This paper that I like film on is gonna be so dirty by the end of this. Okay, so I have a bunch of these Slay Fire glitters. I have Alert. This is like a custom mix in a mystery bag. I have Purple Rain. Another custom mix here. This one's bitchin', I think. And then this one is a like another custom mix. So all these Slay Fire glitters are actually biodegradable. So I'm so excited. They're my first like biodegradable glitters that I've bought and I've been pretty happy with them so far. And it's just nice to have like fun glittery aspects to my collection again without all the guilt. So I'm definitely obviously keeping those. I just bought these within like the last couple months. And then my only loose pigment is from Sugar Pill. This is their Lumi pigment and it is quite beautiful. I do like it. Um, I think that I have like other shadows that do similar things to this, but I do think that this is still a really beautiful one. It's a very classic sugar pill item. Okay, and then I have these Touch and Soul liquid glitter toppers. These are actually not like real glitter, so that's why I still have them. Uh, and I think, I don't know what I wanna do. I might get rid of, 
I mean, they're so pretty. But when it comes to liquid shadows, I feel like I have so many that I think I'd prefer over these. I'm not sure if I would reach just because the colors, like if they were more duochromatic or more like special, I think I'd want to use them more. Uh, but they're, they're really beautiful if you're more into these types of like neutral shades. And I do love that you get like three. So I'm passing these on. Okay, and now we're getting into all my liquid shadows. I had a really big obsession with these um, for a while, for a freaking while. So I'm gonna organize them by brand really fast. All right, so here we are. I have quite a few going here. I wanna start off first with I think I, I can't get rid of this. It's super dried out. You can't get it anymore, but I still try my best. Oh, I don't even know if I can use it. I still use this. So this is Lucky Penny from ColourPop. I wish they would bring this back. It was with like their Moonlight Magic collection and I'll still use this to this day to, uh, add sparkle to my eyes. So I'm keeping that. I will use like Duraliner. I will do whatever it takes to keep this. Um, it's just so beautiful and makes such an impact. I love it. And that's definitely the one I have like the most attachment to. I also do really enjoy these Berry M ones. So let's swatch them and see. They're a little bit dried out. I feel like I've had them for a little bit. Uh, I think I can get rid of this one already. That one's pretty too. Mm. I think I can get rid of that one. I know I'm being a little bit rough, but these are liquids. I have to keep that in mind. This one is nice. I'm gonna keep that. It's still very liquidy. I, I like the green and stuff. So I'm gonna keep that one. Let's go on to these Australis ones. I need to like goog on these. I have this really beautiful gold and then there's this pink one. I honestly, I don't feel an attachment to either of those so I can pass those on or, I mean, these ones honestly will probably unfortunately have to be trashed. I think that some of the best ones out there are also these eye topper ones from BH Cosmetics. I think, I, I mean, this one is so pretty. The difference between like this has like a red, base that comes through and it's different than the Australis. I know it probably doesn't look like it, but it's so much more dimensional. I'm gonna keep so far both of those ones. I just think that these ones are so pretty. I like the colors, they're like richer. Yeah, I'm gonna keep all those. They seem to be drying out a little bit, but they still have a few uses. Continuing on, I have a bunch of these W7 ones and I do really enjoy these. These are more almost like how you would think of like a a highlighter, like a holographic highlighter. Yeah, these are so pretty, oh my gosh. For how affordable they are, they're really, really nice. And I'm pretty sure these are not, these aren't like real glitter. Mm, this gold one's not really for me. I'm not really into that, so I'll get rid of that one. I wonder, I hope you guys can see. I'm trying to show you. It's hard to catch all the different like things but I'm gonna keep all those but the one I got rid of. They're just so pretty. And these are really great to me as like actual toppers. So I'll put my eyeshadow on and then top this over into my like brow bone or whatever. It just adds like an immediate ethereal look. All right, then we have these more natural ones, I would say. This one is another one from the ColourPop. That one has to go. It's just dried up and it's not like a color I care to like save. There's another one from ColourPop. I think it's from the Kathleen Lights. I'm just gonna get rid of it. I'm not gonna wear a neutral shade in this. This is one of my newest like liquid eyeshadow type products. It's from Water Beauty. It's really natural. Again, I just had points, you guys, and you have to use the points. That's the only way to use them is on products in their store. So I was like, I'll give it a try, but I think I'm gonna pass this on like to my mom or something, something more natural with a little bit of a sheen. I'm sure she'd like it. This I got in a boxy charm from Ciate London. This is like insane sparkles. It's like crazy. So metallic. Um, I do, I don't know why the color is like being weird. It's like the color is kind of like separating. Can you see that? I mean, I'm just gonna get rid of that. Last four liquid eyeshadows. These are all from Cover Effects. They are more natural, but these are really pretty. I don't know if I can get rid of these yet. And also I think these might be a nice like summer moment. Let me just swatch them all. 
This one I can get rid of, the light one. I'm not really into that. It's funny that used to be like, that would have been like my favorite shade before. This bronze one I think is really pretty. I might try to pair these with my Natasha Denona bronze palette. And then I also have Amethyst, I believe is what it's called. And this one's like a pinky purple. Uh, and I just, I don't really love the shade, honestly. I'm gonna get rid of that one. So now I just have the two. All right, so from that section, this is what I have. I'm gonna rearrange them in here and I'll show you what, what I have. Okay, so I have this whole middle section open, which I want to be able to put these in. So we haven't looked at these yet. These are all of my like cream potted shadows, plus my soul, my touch and soul, really beautiful metalish shadows, which I freaking love. Let me show you these. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit and show you these. I know more recently talked about this one, Hollow Mulberry, it's so beautiful. Um, so I'm, I'm keeping all three of these. And then I also have, this is Sun Aurora, which as you can tell, I didn't keep the little thing in there. So I got a little destroyed, but it's fine. And then this one as well, which they're so beautiful. I wouldn't mind having all of them. I would easily have all of those. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep those. Next, this is one from Natasha Denona. Um, I got this from Hannah, but I'm gonna get rid of that. I just, I really don't use it. I have four of these cream shadows from W7 and they are so pretty. My favorite one is uh, Studio 51, 57. It's like, you guys, it's so pretty. This one's so pretty. Studio 54, I don't know what I was thinking. But they have a couple other shades, so let's see. This one here, I don't love that as much. I'm gonna get rid of that one. With all the sparkles, this declutter has definitely been like the most insane for swatches. I have this one with like an icy blue, but it has like a golden reflex. I kinda wanna keep that one. I think it's so unique. And then this one, oh, this one's so pretty too. I'm probably gonna keep this. Yeah, I like it. It's like a golden. Okay, so we're keeping three of those. I got rid of one. I also have three of them from Lorac. Oh my gosh, look at how pretty. But they came all like undone from the sides. I don't know what happened. Um, I don't know. See it, that's it there. The one I use all the time or the most is this one. It's like a gray, green, gold. Almost looks kind of khaki. So I'm gonna keep that one. I'm gonna get rid of the bronze one and I'm gonna keep that lighter color for now. And then last, I have one from Bodyography. This is more similar to the Touch and Soul. I've had this a while, but these are so pretty. I think I'm gonna keep that one too. All right, so I definitely cleared some stuff out and then I had, I got rid of all this stuff so far, which feels so great. I feel like I'm not as like talkative in this one. I think it's just, I feel a little bit more overwhelmed and these all don't, like all these sections don't necessarily like, go together. So yeah, I think that's part of the reason why I'm sorry if, <laughs> if it feels like I haven't been talking to you as much, but this is the last portion of the video. I have to go through where I keep my eyeliners, mascaras, brow products, all that type of stuff. These are all like basically, I, I wanna say backups, but I didn't buy these as backup. It's, it's just like what's come in and it's like mascaras and stuff. So I know off the bat, like so easy, I'm keeping all of these little, uh, these are all different like eyeliner colors from Ofra. They're so cool and I know I could create so much with them. So I definitely want to keep them. I'm going to get rid of both of these because I have the Ofra one in black. So I just feel like there's no need for me to have these. And then this is in the wrong place, but it's just the little single compact. So I'm going to put it in the single shadows. So that really worked out. That feels so good. These are all of my like liquid liners. Uh, I really can declutter most of these. Let's see. This one from Rimmel, I never really used. I, I kept it cause I was like, maybe, but I'm not going to ever use it. So that can go. This Hank and Henry's unopened, so I'll keep that. Wander Beauty, that one's pretty dark. My Milk Makeup Stick, I'll keep this for forever. It's just like a little heart stamp. As long as it, it works, I'll keep it. I have to get rid of this Brown Lee Swatier. That's just old. This Love Liner is from W7. It's pretty good, and the reason I've kept it is because it also has a heart uh, stamp on it. I don't need two heart stamps though. So I'm just gonna get rid of that one. I mean, it works 
It works great though. I have these two colorful ones, but I'm just gonna get rid of them. Once again, I don't use them and it's kind of like, you have to be careful with liquid eyeliners. I have this Ofra one. This I know I opened this year. So I'll, I'll keep that one too. And then this is like my newest one from Kat Von D. Oh my God, it's so watery. I don't remember that. Okay, that's better. Do you have to shake it up? Okay, I'm gonna keep that for now as well. Yay, that was pretty good. Let's move on to pencil liners. I have a ton of those. I don't mind having a lot of different colors and and stuff, so as long as there's not too many repeats, it's more about old, like old stuff. Uh, and I think this e.l.f. one, yeah, this e.l.f. one has to go. I mean, if they're still in good condition, look how fun that color is. This one I'm trying to like finish up from Makeup Geek. I've been trying to finish it up for forever, but I don't know, I feel pretty good actually about what I have here. It's a really deep like eggplant purple one from Lise Watier. That's just like a super black one from CoverGirl. Like overall, it feels, I feel pretty good about everything in here. And it's all nice and creamy. I can't complain. So nothing to do there. That's kind of exciting that I have so much just good stuff. Brows is where I need to be really real with myself. So um, I know off the bat, this Mellow Brow Gel, I'm gonna get rid of, it's way too dark. I got that in a boxy charm and it's like in dark brown. That doesn't work for me. <laughs> I'm keeping my ColourPop. I'm keeping my It Cosmetic. This I will use until it's like so dry, it's impossible to. This is just, I think a clear brow gel, which I don't, I only have the, the boy brow uh, in a clear. I don't know which one do I wanna keep. I think I'm gonna get rid of this boy brow because it's just clear and I know that I'm not gonna use the clear one and I know this doesn't have hold for me. Yeah, I'm gonna keep just the regular one. This one I haven't tried. This is the Billion Dollar Brows Universal Brow Pencil. I've never tried it. Maybe I'll give it a go. It's a retractable, which I kinda like. I'm keeping my Anastasia ones. This Rimmel brow like flick thing I use sometimes. So I'll keep that. I like don't keep the lids. I just take them off and throw them away and then I just roll my brow pencil down. <laughs> okay, I was using this for a while. Oh, it's like really dry. I'm gonna get rid of that from Joa. This is another brow pencil. It's from Ofra, but I don't really like, I don't want that. I was excited to get this initially from my BoxyCharm but I don't really conceal, but I guess it's because I use my MAC Paint Pot, which kind of does this job for me. I don't know. This Glossier Brow Flick though, such a waste of my money. I'm getting rid of that, it sucks. That's all I can do in there. It's a little better. It's like slightly, slightly better. Okay, and now let's work on my backups. Oh, this is just a clear brow setting gel. Well, then I'm gonna get rid of this brow one and I have this if I want to open it. I have two of the Exhibitionists from CoverGirl. I love this, so I'm keeping both of those. That's like my favorite mascara. I have a Wander Beauty. Oh my God, this is a brow pencil and tote or a brow. Um, that means I'm gonna get rid of this one. Okay, I feel like I'm like holding on to those because I don't know, but I'm gonna keep keep that. It's a what am I trying to say? It's one of the ones that's like fibrous. This is from Marc Jacobs. It's the highlighter in black. I think I'm gonna keep it for now. I know everyone like loves these. This is the blonde brow pen from Rimmel. I'm gonna get rid of that. I do really like the e.l.f. brow pencil, so I'm gonna keep that one. I do really love the AOA brow gels. I'm gonna keep that one. That one's in light. This is like a purple eyeliner, which I don't even have in there, so I should just open this one up and see if, you know, I like it. It's from Makeup Forever, because I'm never gonna remember I have it tucked away here. Oh yeah, definitely different than anything I have. Okay, this is a Milani Violet Base. I'm not gonna use this primer, get rid of that. I don't think I'm gonna use this Rimmel Mascara either based off this brush picture, so get rid of that. I don't know what this Grande Lash looks like. I'm gonna keep it for now, but if I open it and don't like it, it will be gone. Okay, so far so good. I have the Kevin Aquan Mascara, I wanna try that. And I do like the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes, so that's really good. And I forgot to tell you that I do have some open mascaras. So 
I'm currently using this. I do really like it. I like both these CoverGirl mascaras. I think they just make solid mascara. This is just getting too old, so I have to like get rid of it, but I did enjoy this Tarte one. This Milk, I didn't, it was too dry. I don't know. I didn't really love it. It's kind of a weird one. Some of you guys said I'd like it, and I thought I would, but meh, I didn't. Babe Lash Serum, I'm just not, I'm just not this type of girl. I'm really not, get rid of it. And then also for this Ofra mascara, this I don't like, um, I just didn't really like it. So yeah, I'm gonna get rid of that. And I just have two little open mascaras. All right, so that's what my drawer like this looks like right now. And I'm gonna show you right now what I'm getting rid of. It's a lot, it's a lot of stuff, you guys. All right, I counted it up. I got rid of 45 items, you guys. I feel pretty good about that. Oh, 45 plus these two eyeshadows. That feels pretty good. These are all very tiny items, so they weren't taking up a lot of like space in my collection. They easily can like weasel themselves in between all these other products, but I'm really happy to kind of thin some things out. Unfortunately, I feel like sometimes with like eye products like that are mascaras or eyeliners, Unfortunately, they can't really be passed on. It's just not very sanitary, but I do have some items that I, I didn't even open that I can pass on, which feels good. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tomorrow is eyeshadow palette, so be ready for it. It's gonna be long, okay? There are so many freaking palettes to go through and I'm doing all of them in one video. So I know a lot of you guys will enjoy that. So be on the lookout tomorrow for that video. And uh, other than that, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having an amazing day and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.